Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. If you're new here, welcome. Um, today's video is a really fun one. I have been wanting to do this for a really long time. Not necessarily make a video about it, but actually do this DIY. So um, I went to the thrift store looking for different vases that I could turn into these vintage looking vases. I've seen these online a ton. Different interior designers that I follow have them featured a lot of the time. But they're just so expensive. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I want to show you guys what I got at the thrift store So the first piece I found was this one right here. I absolutely love the shape. I love the size I don't love the um, Like the carving that is into it. I mean, I don't know It's kind of pretty but not necessarily the vibe that I'm going for. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in with um, wood filler I think it's called and um, let that dry and then go ahead and paint this but the next one I found was this one this one already kind of has that old vintage antique look to it um, I really liked the shape I liked the handles uh, not really handles but the sides um, I, I still think I'll paint this one though but the next one I got is this one here and this is obviously a picture and this shape is also really in as I'm showing you guys these I'll show you guys like my inspiration for these um, and again really decent size and yeah I'm just really excited to see how these all turn out the next one I got is this one and this is like a jar basically um, like a cookie jar or whatever um, so it has the lid and everything like that I don't think I'll use the lid but um, I still really liked the shape I liked the handles um, the vintage sort of antique um, pots and things like that that I've seen um, a lot of the time they'll, they'll feature handles like that the last vase I got was this one I love the shape I have seen this shape um, a lot but so expensive so I was so excited to find this so now I want to show you guys the materials that I got to do this project um, I want to be as helpful as possible with this video so earlier I said wood filler it's not wood filler um, spackle so um, I picked up this little thing of spackle I like this one because it goes on pink and then once it's dry it turns white so it's nice because you can tell it's ready to be painted basically then I got these three paint colors I ended up grabbing the hello hobby line in the chalk finish um, I was initially looking for a different brand, but they didn't have it and so I just went with this one The next one I got is Cafe Noir and I don't know if I'm saying that right But this is the next one and it is a really deep deep brown It almost has kind of a purple undertone to it and lastly I got wild mushroom and this is a warmer, almost coppery undertoned brown. The next thing I got is this black matte spray paint and this will act as our base layer. And then I got this protective top coat so I can spray them at the end. And then lastly, I got a little paintbrush just if I wanna do a little bit of um, detail work or whatever. Those are the materials that I have. I think we already have a white spray paint. Blech spray paint <laughs> so um i might try out a white base as well so i'm gonna go ahead and change and let's get started sure enough i ended up finding that white spray paint it wasn't a gloss finish but honestly i didn't really notice a difference i think both finishes will work just fine as a base layer i did end up spraying more of the vases in white and i didn't prefer the white over the black or vice versa i think they both worked fine and um, really it would be up to you what you end up preferring if you want to do this While the spray paint was drying on the other vases, I went ahead and put the spackle on these two other vases. Um, so again, just filling in that design. And then of course, I didn't want the texture to just abruptly end, so I went ahead and extended it all the way to the bottom. And then on the smaller vase, it had um, projected like little design at the top. So I went ahead and filled that in and kind of gave it a messy look and tried something different as you can see. And I actually ended up really liking it. It didn't take too long for the spackle to dry, but once it was all white, I went ahead and sprayed those with spray paint. All right, now I'm gonna get started painting, and I have a bowl of water here. I have some napkins to dab the paint on. I have a little paintbrush. 
And I think I'm gonna put the paint on a bag just so that I can easily clean this up when I'm done. You'll notice that I start switching between the paintbrush and the paper towel. I definitely preferred the paper towel. I felt like it gave off a more natural look, but I still use the paintbrush a lot, so I would recommend both if you are planning on doing this. The nice thing about going for that worn and aged look is that the paint application does not have to be perfect by any means. In fact, it shouldn't be. Um, one thing I will suggest though is that you let your paint dry down a little bit before you go in with another layer. I ended up scraping off some of the paint and even the spray paint because I was using a paper towel that was wet. So definitely let it dry down just a little bit before you go in with more layers. Once all the vases were dry, I went ahead and sprayed them down with that matte top coat just to make sure that everything was locked in. Here is how all the vases turned out. I went ahead and did a little before and after for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful if you plan on doing this DIY. I definitely recommend that you let them dry completely before you give your final judgments because I definitely was a little bit skeptical. Um, but overall, I liked how they all came out. I'm excited to style them around the house. And as always, I appreciate you watching and your support. I will see you guys on the next one.